What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Saw X in this video once again. The official trailer for Saw X dropped at 8 p.m. Eastern. Just like I had been tweeting out courtesy the Saw Space who was sharing the information slowly but surely as it got nearer and closer to the time of the trailer dropping. So for all of you who have seen the trailer, I hope you enjoyed it. And yes, please go give a big thanks to Saw Space. Again, they are a very reliable insider when it comes to all things Saw and the upcoming Saw X. Now, the trailer, for the most part, I thought it was pretty great. I like the way it gave me a few callbacks and a lot of great shots that reminded me of the saw of old definitely not nothing like spiral even though again i do enjoy spiral for what it was i get that spiral has its haters i did enjoy the glimpses of the saw of old that we got throughout this trailer uh, i did enjoy the little brief glimpse we got at the brain surgery trap which looks like it's going to be pretty freaking wild and gnarly and i also enjoyed seeing amanda back at the very end a nice little surprise unmasking of course but i think everyone expected that to be amanda amanda is the original pig as far as we know anyway now this story we know is set in between the first and second film so it's a sequel to the original taking place before the events of saw 2 it's jigsaw's most personal game that's what it's being billed as now some of the stuff that came out of the midsummer scream event from the producers and even kevin gruder himself uh were regarding the runtime, which this is allegedly the longest running entry or the longest entry in the franchise. And then one of the producers said that John is absolutely the protagonist in this. It's a John Kramer story as a human. Now, Kevin Gruder again also allegedly said that this is the longest entry in the series, but Saw Space did tweet out that the film is only one hour and 48 minutes. So that sounds like the same runtime as Saw 3, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong, or maybe Kevin meant before scenes were cut that this was the longest entry. Now, we got some new plot details thanks to this thanks to this nice trailer as well, and a glimpse at our brain surgery trap where someone will have to perform the surgery on themselves in order to live. That, again, it just looks very sick and deranged. I cannot wait to wince in my chair in the theater. I really loved it for the most part altogether. I, I do I do want to say that some aspects of it were a little underwhelming, but all in all, Tobin Bell looks like he's about to deliver another iconic performance. Uh, I, again, enjoyed the, clim the glimpses of Shawnee Smith, Amanda, seeing her back. I enjoyed the terror on these subjects is face because they for what we learn in this trailer they they're getting what's coming to them that's that's a very sick game to play especially knowing who john kramer is and what he's capable of now john's main target thanks to this trailer seems to be someone named dr cecilia ponderson who is carrying on her family's legacy of cancer research with the penderson project now if you want to pause the trailer at one point it's like very early on in the first 20 seconds. It gives you a nice little brief description. Some of this I might have messed up because it was a little blurry, but it says the Penderson Project is considered one of the leading pioneers in independent voices of cancer research throughout the world. Led by internationally renowned researcher Dr. Finn Penderson, the group has decades of experience with cutting edge innovations in medical treatment as well as original surgical approaches. Based in Norway, Dr. Cecilia Penderson continues the family's tradition through her international cutthroat programs or outreach programs for these qualifying candidates in need feel free to reach out to us about the penison project with any questions you may have regarding our program and then you have a nice little shot of dr cecilia penderson now this explains why we're in mexico city because notice it does say that she's based in norway which i figured was a nod to saw six and the conversations john was having with one of his insurance officials so again they did take a lot of inspiration from that flashback in saw six i'm assuming john tracked down another project in norway but something is happening something is happening in mexico city again due to the outreach programs from the penderson project and he ends up just going there and during the trailer, we learned that they faked removing his tumor. Shawnee Smith again unmasked herself as the pig. And it was just all so beautiful. These people are going to get what's coming to them. I, I really enjoy how the franchise has always been this kind of commentary on our healthcare system, a little bit of our law enforcement system, kind of just deconstructing the darker corners of America. Even though I, again, am someone who did not really love all of the future entries, it always did have an act for being a commentary in a lot of ways on the corruptions of our own healthcare systems, on our own uh, law enforcement systems. And it looks like we're going to see that in full effect very much. So once again, in Saw X with something as deranged as what these these people pulled, they 
I don't want to say they deserve it, but it's like, how can I really be mad at the guy? What he's doing is wrong, too. But you don't play with people's lives like that, especially faking removing a tumor. Man, if they even knew who he was, they wouldn't have even bothered to do something so outlandish. They're going to get what's coming to them. OK, y'all, I was ready to wrap it up. But then Saw Space put out another tweet. Costas Mandalore is officially back as Mark Hoffman. For everyone that was excited for Hoffman, you know that earlier in the year, viewer Anon had reported that the Hoffman would be back. Now you have Saw Space coming out saying that it's official. And the reason to believe that is because, again, Saw Space was the one who told us that the Saw X trailer would be dropping today at 8 p.m. Eastern. And what did it do? So if that happened, I can only assume that would mean Mark Hoffman is going to appear in Saw X. Although some people think they saw him in the trailer. I didn't see Mark Hoffman anywhere. Maybe I'm blind. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and there's a video in the description. I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.